Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use our fully integrated environment, Fidelity, in short videos of a few minutes. Today, let's see how we can create simple primitives directly in Fidelity. The creation icons are accessible from the toolbar in the geometry context. The first three icons allow the creation of simple 1D, 2D, and 3D primitives. Both 2D and 3D primitives can be used as part of the geometry domain or as refinement primitives during the mesh generation. Let's have a look at the 3D bodies that can be created by left-clicking on the first icon in the toolbar. You can create three types of volumes, cubes, spheres, or cylinders. If no geometry is selected upon creation of a primitive, the primitive is created at the center of the view with a default size. If a geometry is selected upon creation of a primitive, the primitive is centered at the local center of the selection and the initial size of the primitive is computed using the bounding box of the selected geometry. Once a primitive is created, its parameters can be changed in the Properties panel at the bottom left of the GUI. The primitive can be translated and rotated using the different parameters in the Location tab. The size of the primitive can also be edited through the settings available in the Shape tab or by manipulating the spherical controllers in the Graphics area. Let's now have a look at the 2D primitives. The first option creates an XY plane with default size if no geometry part is selected, or with a size based on the bounding box of the selected geometry. The size, location, and orientation of the plane can then be transformed from the property panel. The second option creates a plane from three points that you select in the graphics area. The distance from the first point to the second one defines the length of the primitive. The perpendicular distance from the second point to the third point define the width of the plane. To create a disk, left-click on the circle symbol. If no geometry part is selected, a disk with a default diameter is created on the XY plane in the center of the view. If a geometry part is selected, a disk based on the bounding box of the geometry part is created. The direction of the longest side of the box is used as the normal of the disk and the second longest side of the bounding box is used as the diameter of the disk. Finally, you can create a disk from three points selected in the graphics area. The triangle formed by the three points will be inscribed in the created disk. You can create a surface of revolution by sweeping a curve along an axis of revolution by a given angle. An arrow appears in the view showing the direction of the rotation axis, along with the revolution that will be applied. Set the rotation angle and click on Apply. The surface is created and a new assembly is added to the tree. Finally, you can create a lofted surface by connecting sets of curves. A minimum of two curves or sets of contiguous curves with the same orientation is needed to create a lofted surface. To create a set of contiguous curves, select all the contiguous curves in the graphics area. Click Define to define a profile for each set of contiguous curves. Once the profile is defined successfully, an arrow showing the orientation appears on the curve. Create a profile for each set of contiguous curves. To visualize the orientation of a curve, right-click on the curve and select Show Orientation. A green arrow showing the direction of the curve will be displayed. To change the orientation of a curve, right-click on the curve and select Change Orientation. Or click Reverse in the menu. To create the loft surface, select All Curves and Composite Curves and click on Apply. For curves belonging to an assembly, a new boundary containing the lofted surface will be created under that same assembly. For curves created through the Create Curves option, just like here, a new assembly containing the lofted surface will be created. Next, we have the 1D Primitive Creation options. 
four types of curves can be created by adding control points. Polyline, Bezier, B-splines, and C-splines. From these 1D primitives or from curves belonging to the imported geometries, you can create 2D primitives using the lofted surface and surface by revolution options. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a great Tuesday.